Welcome to the winner's interviews of this year's Inside Market Data and Inside Reference Data Awards. Now, I have with me today Jethro McDonald, Product Manager for Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning at SmartStream, which won the best AI or machine learning data initiative in this year's Data Awards. Now, Jethro joins me from this year's Money 2020 event in Amsterdam. Um, so, firstly, uh, welcome, Jethro. It's good to see you uh, again, and congratulations to you and to SmartStream for this win. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for having me, and it's it's, it's great to be here, and uh, thank you for the award as well. Yeah. Um, okay, um, Jethro, let's talk about um, the reason why SmartStream won this award, and it's thanks to its SmartStream AI offering, which I know that um, some of our readers and, and viewers will know uh, particularly well by now. But let's talk a little bit about the observational learning functionality embedded within SmartStream AI, which is what makes the application so special. What specifically does AIR allow its users to do with respect to reconciliations and how does it achieve its remarkable results? Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're again, thank you for the award. We're very proud of, um, you know, our observational learning that we've, we've built here at, at SmartStream. So, so what it allows clients to do is really monitors their manual matching um, and understands from the patterns that they're performing, how that data comes together and then can propose matches based on that previous logic. And it will give you a percentage certainty of, as to why that data comes together. Mm -hmm. So say if it's spotted um, a reference embedded uh, within a specific field and it sees that reference again or a similar reference and finds it elsewhere, it will mm -hmm. propose matches back to the user uh, and, and tell them where it believes this data sets can come together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's you know a really really smart way of, of learning from users' action, and so the knowledge that they have of the reconciliation process is retained not with with them themselves, but also in the system as well. Okay, and uh, now um, just while we are talking about the observational learning functionality, um, it also learns from experience. It learns from positive outcomes, and it gets becomes more intelligent as it becomes more experienced, right? Yeah, ex exactly. So it's continually learning. Um, every time a user manually matches, it's learning and enhancing its algorithm um, and how that data comes together. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. So to date, what have you heard from your clients regarding uh, specifically the time and the cost savings they've been able to make by using AIR to manage their reconciliations functions? Yeah, of course. Sir. So, I mean, one of the, the biggest success stories that we've had is actually with um, a bank based out in the Middle East. Um, so they were a neobank um, mm -hmm. who were looking to get their banking license. And as part of that, they needed to have reconciliation controls in place. And we were actually able to do that within you know, seven days of them signing the contract um, to actually then building the relevant controls they needed to get that approval. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really testament to how quickly you can build the sort of controls that you need to function as a financial institution. Mm -hmm. But also the, the, the ability for the um, for the AI to actually make um, to, to match, you know, highly, very large, but also very complex data sets. The, 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 the incredible time savings are, um, I mean, are, are astonishing, right? Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, it, it goes from, you know, being a, you know, maybe a matter of weeks or months to implementing uh, controls or actually being a matter of minutes, right? It, you, you chuck it the different data sets and it tells you how that data comes together. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really quick and efficient way of, of building the relevant controls that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, final question to you, uh, Jethro. What specific AI areas will SmartStream be focusing on uh, in the foreseeable future? Um, is there anything exciting right now coming out of the Innovation Lab um, in Vienna that um, that SmartStream is uh, is working on right now? Yeah, so I mean, one of the things that we're really excited about is actually the um, AI for exception management. So, you know, we've, we've spoken about the observational learning that we have from a uh, manual matching perspective, but now mm -hmm. we're actually looking to apply that to our exception management. So if you raise a specific exception and you assign it to a specific team member, you classify it as a different kind of break, we want to be able to learn from all those actions and then start classifying for a user um, and really the idea is there to just save from those painful manual tasks that they're, they're, they're having to do when breaks arise um, mm. in their reconciliation mm, mm, mm. good okay um jethro thank you very much for your time um you can go back to money 2020 now i hope it's a really productive uh, event for you and for SmartStream. Um, and uh, finally, just congratulations to you personally um, and also to SmartStream for this win in this year's IMD and IOD awards. Yeah, well, thank you very much. And thank you for the award.